Now we are doing exercise 6.3, question number 7. Question number 7, let me write down the question. Question says, So let me change the color and let us start the solution. Question says, prove that the two arms of an angle are perpendicular to the two arms of another angle. Then the angles are either equal or supplementary. So let us draw the diagram and let us understand through diagram. So there is an angle. Okay, so there is an angle. Let us draw that angle. Okay, let us take this as angle. This angle. Now the question says if two arms of an angle, there are two arms, there, the, this is an angle, are perpendicular to arms of another angle. So there is one angle which is perpendicular to this one. Let's say, okay. So let's take one angle which is perpendicular to this one. This is 90 degree. Okay, here this is our diagram. Question says, let's say this is A, B, C and D. This is 90 degree. This is also 90 degree. This angle and this angle, angle A and angle D. Okay, angle A and angle D are two angles given and these two are perpendicular. This is given. We need to prove that these two angles, angle A and angle D, these two angles are equal or they are supplementary. So let us start given what is given is angle a is given and angle d is given okay another thing what is given is angle db angle db is perpendicular angle or line db not angle db is perpendicular to ab and angle dc angle dc Oh, no, line DC, sorry, DC is perpendicular to AC. Got the point. Now we need to prove, so to prove, what do we need to prove here? To prove, we need to prove that angle A and angle D are equal, are either equal or supplementary. Okay, they are either equal or supplementary. So proof, let us start our proof. So we know angle B is equal to 90 degree. Why? Because angle DB, no, line DB is perpendicular to AB, right? If perpendicular meaning this is 90 degree. Angle C also is equal to 90 degree. Same region since DC DC is perpendicular to AC okay so also also we know angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle since this seems it's like a quadrilateral so if we add all these angles it will be equal to 360 degree angle b angle b is 90 degree so i can add on angle a plus 90 degree plus angle c angle c is also 90 degree given here angle c is 90 degree plus angle d will be equal to 360 degree angle a plus angle d is equal to 360 minus 90 plus 90 90 plus 90 it is 180 180 if you transfer that side if you transfer 180 that side, it will become minus 180. So angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. Okay. Since the sum of two angles, if the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degree, then what is it? It is an supplementary angles, right? Since, since angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree, if the sum of two angles are 180 degree, then since angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree, it they are and sub they are they are supplementary. Supplementary angles. 
okay since they are so the, since they are equal like the eight the sum of two angles is equal to 180 it is sublimentary now let's say let's say these two are equal it is 1990 and if suppose these two are also equal okay or like okay we cannot assume if they are equal we can assume that if this side okay and this one cd and this one okay are parallel and equal okay and this one and this one are parallel and equal then we can say the angles opposite angles will be equal right this one angle and this one angle and this and this angle will be equal if cd is parallel to ab they are if they are parallel and they are equal and if this one and this one are parallel and equal then we can say opposite angles will be equal so if opposite sides are equal okay and also parallel okay if they are equal and parallel then 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 angle a and angle d then angle a and angle d becomes opposite angle becomes opposite angle angles of a parallelogram of opposite angles of a parallelogram okay or we can say of a parallelogram let's say it's a parallelogram or you can just include a rhombus even okay so that is angle a will be equal to angle d okay hence we can say angle a and angle d are either equal either equal or are supplementary i hope you understood the concept i hope you are able to understand it and i hope the answer is correct that's all thank you so much we will meet in the next video